Hi, this is Blake Lewalt. I have a few loose ideas for a story called The Island and the Ruby, and I'm going to try and weave some improvisation into it and tell a story for you. So here I go, The Island and the Ruby. I'm sitting alone again, and of course I'm with her at the same time, and this woman, she's my wife. We've been on this island for two months, two weeks, two days, two minutes, I don't even know anymore. There's something about her, I look in her eyes and I love her more than the day, than the sunlight, than the rivers themselves. I look anywhere else at the wall, at my feet, at the ground, as I so often do, and I can't stand there. I can't stomach the thought of her. What if she's not who she says she is? I'm walking in my bedroom to get away. I'm telling her I'm grabbing her a gift. I'll have to improvise something, maybe a poem. I write her poems every day. I don't know why, I don't mean them. And yet I love her. There's something following us. It seems to haunt her too, but I think it's her, following her, following me. I have to walk away from this. This, this is walking away. So I stop and I pray. She hates it when I pray. Then I remember something. I say to myself, you used to be holy. I grab up the ruby I bought as our wedding gift. At least she reminds me all the time. And I walk out with it. I take a rock we collected from the corner of the island by the ocean and I smash the ruby and my wife disappears in the flash of light and suddenly the fog clears. I have been here for 50 years trapped by this woman and now I'm free. The end. Thank you. From Blake Lee Wong.